It's funny you said that because I totally and completely forgot about the whole snake thing. When you said we're watching out for them, I was like, really? Because I haven't been paying any attention. Yeah. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll watch out for those snakes. Yeah. The nice thing is we're walking on rocks, so they kind of... They blend in. They blend in. <laughs> they bl They definitely blend in, but at least they don't come out of the weeds and, you know, you... Can, it's easier to look for them than going through the weeds. Well, if we're quiet enough, we'll hear them rat, rattling, let's rustling. Pretend, let's pretend that we don't have mouths. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if I had only not drank that five-hour energy before we left the house. <laughs> I can't just, they'll hear me coming, though. <laughs> I feel like an auctioneer on a hike. It's been a long time. So if you're wondering why we decided not to travel today and stay put, I'll show you. And that's exactly why it's crazy. It's just knocking us around. If we had been out on the road right now, whew, very happy that we stayed put, made the right choice. And we're all packed up, ready to go, moving on down the road to another spot. This is our third day of travel. Today we are going to Valley of the Fires, I think it's called. We are gonna be staying at a recreation area and we will have electricity, we'll have plug-ins, so that'll be kind of nice because it's been really hot. We've been staying at this golf course, which was beautiful. The views right here, you can see back there. Lastly, Dave is just filling the tires. I guess they were kind of low. Hey. All done? Or just one done? more. One to go? I think I'm gonna start working because one of the things about traveling every day, it's hard to work. So I got some work to do. Here we go. Next place, moving on, moving on up. Pretty, uh, we're up pretty high, aren't we? Maybe we'll just stay connected if it's level right now because the, the driveway goes like this. I can't open the tailgate mm -hmm. if um, we're angled like this. In fact, I won't be able to get to the... I gotta try to straighten out. Okay. We also wanna make sure that we can reach the electric box. We can turn around and come in the other way if we want that works better. We'll see. Yep, oh, yeah. makes it. Fine on that. Plenty. Fine on water. And, uh, hey babe, we are also level. I mean, the front is way up, but we're level side to side. Oh, we are? Yeah. Okay, let's just, we'll just dip the nose down. Okay. So that's funny, I was just going for a walk doing some filming and I saw this guy in the distance in a wheelchair with a big dog and I thought there's no chance that could be Kevin, our friend from Escapers and he's just out here camping and he's just got his dog and Rufus and it was so cool. Like you meet people on the road all over the place that you've seen before. I love it. You got yourself a friend. Yep, I think he remembers me. I'm sure he does. <laughs> Yeah. 
How was your lava I run? I made it! How was your lava run? Good. The only thing I was worried about was dropping my phone. I don't have any pockets. And I always have my phone so I can take pictures. And make phone calls. Well, right. In case I got bit by a rattlesnake. A rattler. Then I'd need to call for help. Because you wouldn't know what to do. No, I'd be running for the car. <laughs> I'd be in the car with the doors locked. <laughs> listening to the radio. Yeah. So we are just outside of Carrizozo, New Mexico, and uh, the town itself, we drove through it, but the population a few years ago was uh, just under a thousand, so it's, it's quite small. Uh, it's been here for many, many years, and the area here that we're at is the Valley of Fires recreation area, and Dave just found this on recreation.gov. And it's really cool. It's a lava field. So I guess about 500 years ago, lava came up through vents in the ground and it all cooled here. And they say that this is one of the youngest lava fields uh, in the country. So uh, it's just really neat to see because there are little like caves that have formed too when it cooled and it bubbled these little caves and I guess there are bats that live in there all kinds of different vegetation here and you can walk out on the lava as well so it's just an area that we kind of found and it's really really cool you got to see it This has been a great place. Uh, went for a little walk this morning, as you saw, and um, we're just packing up. About a two hour drive today to get up to um, Morarity. Look, it's right here. I'm putting it right here because I can not I can never pronounce it. We're staying in another harvest host tonight at a brewery, um, big parking lot, and then it gives us an opportunity to practice for our show tomorrow. There's some songs that kind of fell by the wayside, so we have to bring them into the fold again. Um, so like I said, about two hours north and then Los Alamos tomorrow night. Starling stowed, ready to go. When we came in, the uh, this parking spot, this camp spot is very angled downhill. So we first made sure our chocks were in the back of the tires before we did anything. And we had to angle our nose way down. Sometimes if you drive through a camping area, you're like, why are those campers looking like they're pointing straight down? Well, it's perspective. But if you look at the landscape, it's tilted. And it doesn't take much to tilt to have to drop your nose or raise your nose. So we kind of know our threshold, uh, but we have to drop the nose sometimes. And normally we're pretty level though. But here we had to do it. I really liked this place a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Wasn't it great? It was great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'd I'd come back and stay more nights. Me too. Because you can get up in the morning and you can walk. Um, there's a mile paved path. We even have a friend here who who we ran into, which yeah. was weird. We didn't know he was gonna be here and he's in a wheelchair and great for him too. So I was telling him last night that uh, these guys are viewers that I looked up and I saw a wheelchair and I saw a dog the size of a horse and I'm like okay those two together it's got to be Kevin <laughs> <laughs> yes yes yeah. so it's a great area it was what $26 for the night 26 um, but that includes dump station that includes yes. um, uh, the site the power there are some drive-up sites or some reserve sites Kevin was telling me um, was it uh, 30 amp 50. 50, 50 and? and 30. Gee. Yeah. Wow. And water right at your site. And then, yeah, it's, I love it. It was yeah. a great place. Yeah. Don't tell anybody though. Nice Whatever find. Whatever you do, don't tell anybody. I'm just <laughs> impressed. Nice find. Thanks. So I kind of don't want to leave, but I'm also excited to get on to the new adventure, new place. So this is the fourth 
day that we're traveling to a new spot. So new backyard, four days in a row. Yes. All right. That's how we get footage, people. <laughs> That's how we have fun, people. That's how we have fun, people. <laughs> I sound like my my seventh grade gym teacher, Mr. Dolmeyer. You had odd schooling. Oh. I just had a nun who like would tap us on the head aggressively. Aggressive, if we did something highly wrong. aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> that explains the flat top, the flat part on the top of your head. Oh All right. man, feels good to be able to laugh again, doesn't it? Yeah, let's mm, get going. Yeah, we're gonna get going. <laughs> that means you're getting going too. Starting route to Sierra Blanca Brewing Company. Proceed to the route. That just sounds like trouble. Could be. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing good. My guess is this is where they'll put us. So we'll run in, make sure we don't unhook until we know exactly where they want us. So we'll run in and That's ask good. questions and hopefully get some answers. Okay. So we're at the Harvest Host in, how do you say that? Moriarty? Moriarty? Moriarty. So we're at the Harvest Host in Moriarty, New Mexico, and it's a brewery. And they have a huge parking lot here, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six rigs in here right now. Plenty of room for more. And uh, went inside, had, well, I bought a t-shirt. I'm not drinking right now, so I bought a t-shirt. So losing the belly and uh, getting back in shape. Um, but it's a really cool place. And earlier we walked over to the Glider um, Museum right across the street. We had come in thinking, Oh, we'll go find this place and then we pulled in and Jacqueline looked across this little field and said look at there's a glide that museum's right there so we walked over and checked that out and we'll show that to you My name is Ridge. It's a middle name. It's another long emotional story. Yeah, R-I-D-G. I'm not a hill. I'm a ridge. That's a true story, not a nickname. Appreciate that y'all are here at the Southwest Soaring Museum here in Moriarty, New Mexico. Everybody here is a volunteer. There are no paid employees for for this. Everything, all the aircraft that you've seen here are have been donated to the museum. This one is reminiscent of our time in Lake Havasu City, where we went parasailing. Parasailing is a little more comfortable for me because look at this. Uh, every one of them has flown and been airworthy at some point. This is classic and historical aircraft in here only. And you could buy yourself a 50 foot fifth wheel for what? And then some for what a new uh, sailplane costs now. Typically, 150,000 to, to 250 or 300,000 now. Happy to get to meet 
people, especially from Canada and all of the great places like that. I love Canada. Thank you. Nice so. to meet you. Getting ready to take off this morning from, I can never say it, Mariariati City. I don't know. I can never say it right. I pull it up and I, I'm just going to put it down below. <laughs> We're going to the Los Alamos today, play a show at Bathtub Road Brewing Co op, and uh, one night there. And then we don't really know where we're going to go after that. It's kind of wide open. We don't have anything set in stone, so we're just going to sort of wander. Had heavy winds last night, really heavy winds, and uh, it was rocking the trailer starting about 12:30 in the morning. We thought it was going to do that all night. We weren't going to sleep, but then it kind of went away. But now it's picking up a little bit, and uh, I think it'll be a good travel day. It's cloudy, so we have to watch the solar. And uh, other than that, we're good to go. Shall we? Bye bye, brewery. I know better now. We've done, by accident, we've done the cliff road. You can see it up there three times. <laughs> I didn't understand it as a truck route, even though the big sign said truck route. Yeah, I'm much happier on this road than going up on the cliff face. Perfect. I'd do it, but given the option. Yeah. Given the choice. So coming into Los Alamos was probably the craziest drive and out of nowhere, you're on the side of a cliff. The views were amazing from the passenger seat, but I don't think I would have liked driving that either. No, I was focused <laughs> on that center line and everything over there. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, beautiful, but uh, we are 7,200 feet up Yeah. right now. I'll just wait for Jacqueline's video segments to come out to see what was on the other side. <laughs> and then you would look ahead and you could see where the road was ahead on the cliff, and you're like, oh no, we have to go there. <laughs> We're going up We're there. We're going up there. So we are... Got the hockey game on you. Welcome to another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. Today, I am making a recipe, and it's a cheesy Italian chicken squash casserole. So what I did was I cooked my spaghetti squash in the Instant Pot first, and then I sauteed um, the spaghetti squash with some diced tomatoes, some uh, laughing cow cream cheese, and then I also cooked up some chicken, which I marinated in some Italian dressing first. And now I'm going to put it all into the casserole dish and add some more cheese. I don't think it's all gonna fit. I made a lot. Oh, look at that. So there's that mixture. Now I'm gonna add my chicken on top. I have our protein. Then I'm going to add my mozzarella cheese. Measured it out so I don't go crazy because I love cheese so much. And you guys, I don't have any Parmesan cheese for the top. I was so bummed. So instead I'm just gonna use a little bit of this cheddar blend and kind of sprinkle it on top for a little different flavor. So just a little bit, and then I'm going to bake it in the oven on 350 degrees for probably 10 minutes um, until the cheese melts. And it's gonna be yummy. I'll show you when it gets out. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. Yum. Today's transformation 
is a client of mine who's become a really good friend, Tina, and this is her amazing transformation. If you want more information on my Healthy Lifestyle program, there is a link in the description of this video. Go ahead, fill it out, and I will contact you. We can have a conversation and see if it might be a good fit for you. And this has been another Healthy Living Tip with Jacqueline. We're leaving Los Alamos, New Mexico. We played the Bathtub Row Brewery last night. It was great, had a great time. We love coming here. I think this is our fourth time playing here. I always love it. Uh, it's a harvest host if you're looking for a place to stay. And hopefully we'll see them next fall. Chances are slim, but there's a chance. Um, that's the way it goes. Always changing our route. So we're gonna get out of here today, go up to Farmington, New Mexico, try to stay at a Walmart, and then Moab the next day. So gotta get on the road, gotta get out of here and make some harvest host space for the next person. Thank you, Bathtub Row Brewing. Appreciate you guys. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookup Score RV and please remember to ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as to when we have more episodes coming on out. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and place your comment below. If you want more, become a member, hit the little join button on our channel and you'll see some options. And since you've been following us, we really hope to see you out here. That was amazing. That was the best. I know I said it before that that was the best outro, but that oh. was the best outro. Well, it comes from the heart. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I'm standing on my tippy toes because otherwise, it's just like my head because you're so tall. So my legs, my calf muscles are getting sore. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta end it. Okay. You know. See you all out here. <laughs> See you out here.